your name? Marianne. So, Marianne, um, what is this that you're doing? I am spinning wool to eventually make a pair of mittens. Oh, that's a really nice lavender. Yeah. Uh, so, what is that? Spinning wheel. So, how do you work it? Okay, you pedal the pedals slowly. Which turns this, and as you feed it in, it is pulled on to the onto here. It's hooked over these, and as this turns, it feeds it onto here. And then when you fill up a space like here, see I move to the next one, and then you just keep moving your pegs along until it's full. It's this one almost is. So, how does it go from all just being fluffy and now it's like string? Okay, this has been washed. Come off the sheep, and if the sheep are with the lanolin, they're very greasy and dirty and being outside. It gets washed. And then I have a friend who has a big carding machine who cards it into these bats, which then you tear off pieces. And you notice it's turning here. And that puts some twist in it. And you just keep feeding it in. And it's twisting. And depending on how loose you want your yarn to be depends on how much twist you put in it. I happen to like bouncy, soft yarn, so I'm not putting in a lot of twist. Then when you have two of these, you put them on a, a little thing called a lazy cape that allows them to turn it to axle thing and then you have another empty one you put it on here and you spin those two together in the other direction which makes yarn that, that twists together like that see how there's two of them there so did you make this or yes. it's the same thing as this in a different color this is really awesome going to be soft i really like that i like the color yeah. And eventually, it will turn into socks. That's <laughs> really cool. And I know the sheep. The sheep that, that came from is called Matilda. So I saw the sheep being sheared, washed the yarn, washed the wool, sent it away to my friend who processes it so I can spin it, and then I dyed it and spun it and made socks. So, is this fun, or do you like it? Oh, I love doing it. It's very, very fun to, this is the only pair of socks in the world like that, if you think about it. And it's very fun to start from the sheep and do all these processes and then end up with, with something that's done. So, um, is it easy to do? Spinning is really very easy once you get the knack. Most people do their feet too fast and then it gets too much twist in it. Uh -huh. And it kind of turns into baling wire. So you kind of have to just like do it it's, steady. It's, the, 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 it's, what they tell you to do is think waltz music. You know, one, two, three, and, and pedal about that speed, to like twinkle, twinkle, little star, like that speed, which will keep your feet from going too fast. And you want your hands to go fast to feed it in, but not your feet. Because if you pedal too fast, you will, it gets overspun and it's a mess. So that's sort of like rubbing your tummy and patting your head. <laughs> Once you get past that, it's easy. And it's amazingly relaxing. And I really like the idea of having, you have control over everything. I mean, you dyed it, you spun it the way you wanted, and you knitted the only pair of socks in the world that looks like that. Both feet on there. Okay, now, you can make it go either direction. I want to go this one. So I'm going to start it. Okay, hold it. The thing is, you control the twist here, and you don't want the twist to get back up in here. Okay, I'm going to start this so you get pedal in the right direction. Pedal. Okay, now just let it go. You got to let it go in. Just keep it. Just keep pulling it apart like that. Yeah, it's 